We know that the task step in K2 workflow is used to create and send task assignments to individual users or groups of users of your K2 applications when you need human-based decisions to be made in a process. In the task step, K2 also allows us to configure who receives a task assignment based on setting up rules for a more dynamic recipient capability based on values that come in from smart objects. Take for instance, you may have an expense approval or purchase order application that requires extra approval if an expense exceeds a certain dollar amount or a request comes from a specific department. In this how-to video, we are going to walk through how to configure recipients of a user task based on roles using smart object data. I am going to assume that you already have some basic knowledge and understanding of how to use K2 Designer to start building a workflow and set up basic task steps. Also, to keep this video short, I will only be showing how to design the workflow piece rather than showing the workflow and forms in action. So on my screen, I already have K2 Designer showing with the beginnings of an expense approval type application with a partially configured task step dropped onto the design canvas. To configure recipients based on rules, we can navigate down to the recipients tab for this user step. The first thing we need to do is add the recipient options. So I'll change this default recipient option here to point to the originators manager. In this demonstration, I'll also add the finance group as an option, which I do have available in my Active Directory system. To do that, I'll click the plus icon to add a new entry, then hover over the originator value to get the drop down arrow icon to appear, open the drop down menu, and select browse from the menu. Next, I'll search for the finance group and select it from the list to go back to the recipients tab. Keep in mind, you can add more recipient options here as defined by your own business needs. Now, many basic workflows can get away with selecting the rule option called all recipients here, but in the case of say a capital expense request application, you may have a need to assign recipients more dynamically based on various pieces of information. We need to select the recipients rule option called certain recipients based on a rule to make this happen. Then click on the button edit recipients rule. For demonstration purposes, if the requesting department happens to be the IT department, then I'm going to configure the recipients rule here to have the originators manager be an approver along with the finance department. If it is an expense from any other department, then we only need the originator's manager for now. You can set this up with the default if then statement that is visible here by starting with the left side of the condition. The ID value for the selected budget department field that we need is in the main data source reference for this application called capital expense request. This field happens to be a key field in another smart object data source called budget department which stores a lookup list of departments in our organization. To get the name of the department that the request is coming from, we can call the smart object load method for the budget department smart object and load the department name for the rule evaluation using the budget department ID field that comes from the capital expense request data source. This would represent the department selected by a user upon filling out the expense request form. To get that set up, I'll open the Smart Object tab in the Context Browser area over here on the right, navigate the Category Structure down through the Apps group, and open the Smart Objects category under Capital Expense Request. From here, I'll open the Budget Department Smart Object and select the Load method, drag over the Title field to the left side of the IF condition, Upon doing this, the Smart Field Editor will open because we need to send in the ID of the department for this load method to run. As I mentioned earlier, that can be found over in the References section of the Fields tab in the Context Browser here on the right. I'll open the Capital Expense Request Reference and drag over the Budget Department ID field. From there, we can close this part of the editor. Finally, for this if-then condition statement to fully work, I still need to tell it which department to check for, so I'll enter in the text IT department, 
for the right side of the condition comparison. To finish up with the other important part of this lesson, I also want to add the finance department as a recipient for this condition. You can do this by clicking on the drop down arrow for the recipient block in the then statement and put a check in the box for the finance department when it appears. For future reference, you will first need to add possible recipients to this task over on the left side of the window. Then there will be options for your recipients rule as you make edits and customize it for your needs. And that's all I need to do to get this running in a basic fashion. To sum up this demonstration, we basically set up recipients for a task step to be selected as certain recipients based on a rule. Then configure the rule to assign tasks to a workflow originators manager and the finance department if the request coming in through the workflow has the IT department set as the requesting department. This is determined by using a smart object method to figure out the name of the department by calling the budget department smart objects load method. To learn more about the task step and recipient configuration, you can refer to this step in our product documentation at help.k2.com.